we have reached part three now of question one here it says all of Irma's savings is used to pay her son's tuition cost which is $150,000 if Irma if Irma's pay remains the same and she saves the same amount each month you can see savings here the same amount each month what is the minimum number of years that she must work in order to save enough money to cover her tuitions her son's tuition cost now what the question really is asking for is how many of her savings are there in 150,000 how many one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars are there in one hundred and fifty thousand because each month she is it each month yeah they ask each month she saves the same each month let's look back at the question Irma's take home pay is this amount per fortnight that means every two weeks each fortnight Irma's pay is allocated according to the following table each fortnight that means every two weeks there are two of this in each month assuming each month contains four weeks I mean after two weeks she saves 1750 in another two weeks which is the end of a full month she saves another 1750 so you're going to have to multiply the 1750 by 2 because each month that passes she saved that two times so here each month in exam you would write out the sentence and so on but to show working but we don't have a space here so each month she saves 1750 times 2 right so when you multiply that by 2 you get 3500 so the amount per month is 3500 3500 dollars per month she saves now how many 3500 I had said before that we're looking at how many 1750 are there in 1000 in 150,000 but it's each month and this is fortnight so what we're really finding out is how many 3,500 are there in 150,000 how many times would she have to put down 3,500 for, for it to add up to 150,000 to do that you divide 150,000 by 3500 all right and remember each of this represents a month so the number of 3500 you get will be the number of months so 100 into 3500 is 3500 into 150,000 is 1500 so what you're going to do is say 1500 is 1500 divided by 35 equals the answer here is 42.857 but the thing is what this means is that after 42 months after 42.857 months she will save exactly that but we're not looking at any fraction of a month we're looking at whole months so after 42 months it hasn't reached the 150,000 at 42.857 months it reaches it but we're counting 42 then 43 and at 43 months she would be able to cover the 150,000 and have a little more left over so the answer is 43 
months minimum number of months they're asking for the minimum number of years so in this case if Irma's pay remains the same and she saves the same amount each month what is the minimum number of years that she work she must work in order to save enough money for the three months is how many years what you do is divide by 12 right so what I say here is 40 let's use the same 42.857 over 12 and then we round up if necessary this number on your calculator over 12 will give 3.57 number of years Years is 3.57 but when they say number of years they want the whole year each time so we're looking at at least four years at least four years no that would be the answer I'm thinking of another way you could think about it this is the saving per fortnight so per week each week another thing you could consider is that each week she would save the 1750 divided by 2 because this is every two weeks so each week is 1750 over 2 so 1750 over 2 is equal to 8 75 so eight hundred and seventy five dollars per week and the question had said that you should assume each year has 52 weeks so the amount that she could save if you consider the 150,000 find out how many of this is in 150,000 you get the number of weeks right so 150,000 over 875 150,000 dollars 150,000 dollars over 875 dollars is equal to 171.4 so this is 171.4 weeks now how many years is that what you could do is divide this by 52 because the question had said assume that there are 52 weeks in each year so 171.4 over 52 this over 52 171.4 divided by 52 gives 3.296 call it 3.3 3.3 years but again we want whole numbers after three years she wouldn't have me um, saved enough money so there has to be another year so after four years she would have covered the entire 150,000 and have money left over so in both cases we get four years all right they had said the minimum number of years that's why I use four if they had said them um, how, how much time would be needed then I could use it three years and then convert the point three four to months or weeks but they had said number minimum number of years